Hey, good afternoon. Uh, Mr. Breeze here. Uh, I'd like to welcome you back to my workbench and uh, got a quick video about something I just uh, just arrived today. And uh, before I like to start, I'd like to do a wrist check. Let's see. Uh, I've got my um, I've got my DW5600 uh, G-Shock Square on. Awesome watch. This is the one I wear to work most of the time. So anyway, um, uh, sometimes we all reach that age where we're making decent money and and we're able to go back and maybe reacquire or acquire some things we either wanted as a kid or had and no longer have. And I certainly have reached that point in my life. And um, another thing, uh, I grew up in a military family. And so the government pays to move your belongings when you're a military family up to a certain weight. And so in order to not have to pay extra, you have to keep the weight of your belongings uh, down to a certain level. So what that means is uh, you're not always able to keep all the things that you wanted when you were growing up as you're in a military family. So with that, um, a little surprise showed up today from eBay. I'd like to show you what it is. What this is, is a uh, vintage uh, Tonka car carrier. And we're going to pull it out of the box and check it out today. Get some bubble wrap here. I've already opened the box, but I haven't really unwrapped it yet. So get this out of here. Well, i got to say, it looks pretty darn good so far. Now this one, wow, check it out. It's actually in pretty darn good condition, but it's not in mint condition. And I've really, first of all, mint condition ones are probably twice what this one was in cost. And, and I like to get things that have a little bit of wear on them. And, and to me, it's a little more honest. And the fact that, um, uh, someone did love this thing at one point and took reasonably good care of it though. So let's check it out. Let's pull the, let's pull one of the, okay. We'll take a look at that in a second. That's one of the cars. Okay, let's see. Looks like we're going to get the trailer out first. Uh, the gentleman that shipped this to me, um, got it to me very quickly. I just ordered it the other day. And yeah, and uh, the ship, he was very quick on the shipping, so I'll have to leave some nice feedback. Um, yeah, that's exactly what he said it was, too. Pretty good condition. I'll say a little wear here and there, and one decal is missing. He did say that in the description. And this one, because of the earlier ones, had white wall tires. I think up to about 1972. So I think this one was probably made around 73 to 74, somewhere around in that uh, area. So well, let's get the cab out and take a look. It's actually in really good condition as well. And the nice thing about this one is the windshields on these are crack, cracked uh, very often. And this one's in pretty darn good shape. And it's not too yellowed either. Very, very nice. Pretty darn good shape. As I said, uh, no white walls. So, and this is what they call the turbine cab. And because it has the, has the metal front bumper on it. Uh, later on, these would have a plastic front bumper. So, let's check it out. Let's put it together. Wow, that's really cool. An interesting thing about going back and looking at your old toys that you had when you grew up is when you're a kid everything seemed larger for some reason and then when you're an adult everything's a little smaller it's uh, very fascinating actually yeah the steering wheel's still in place a lot of times these will pop out and fall around very good condition let's check out the uh let's check out the ramps here Okay, yeah, pops open nicely. And, oh, look at that, it works properly. That's very nice. These 
a little help to get up, but that's okay. Very good. So far, I'm pretty happy with it. There we go. Like I said, not 100% perfect, but, but uh, definitely nice. Okay, let's look and see what else we got here. Let's see. Okay, this is one of the cars. And, uh, let's get the box out of the way. Okay, let's open these guys up. Now, the cars that come with these are often, the plastic they were made out of uh, can crack and warp over time. And this one is a Mustang, looks to be about a 1967, going by the side. Um, these do often crack and warp, and sometimes they're in, these are in decent condition. They're not perfect, but they're, you know, they're good enough. So, there we go, there's one Mustang. It goes on there like that, and then the other car, is a ran should be a ranchero and it is and it's in a little bit better condition than the mustang is it's got a little breakage there but that's all right very cool now it's got a little bit of warpage here and the uh, the a pillar is a little cracked but i was expecting that so decent shape windows are a little foggy did i was expecting that too very cool. We'll set that on here like that. Wow, check it out. One complete Tonka car carrier from the early 70s. Very cool. Very happy with it. Now I'm going to build a shelf in the garage, probably up, up high, to put this in the... Uh, very nice, very happy with that. And uh, I may pick up an extra car to put that inside the bottom. We'll see. We'll see how that works out. Very nice. Love it. Um, well, that's it for today. I may do some more videos. I may not. Um, we'll see how that works out. And there is a dump truck I'd like to get that uses the same cab that I did have a little bit later on after I had this. So we'll, uh, we'll pick that up pretty soon and and uh, we'll show it, show it to you when I, when I do. Okay, I think that's it. And uh, this is Mr. Bree signing off. Thank you.